Hey YouTube, this is my second go around with that Sioux Prince uh, sewer line jetter. The first one I had, as I said before, blew out. So today I'm going to give it another try. Okay, today I'm unboxing a sewer jetter hose. It says here that the maximum working pressure is 5800 PSI. And this is my second one. The first one blew out with my pressure washer that can only make about 3,000 PSI. So we're going to see how this one works. Now my first one, uh, I reviewed it and said that it's a good looking hose, which it is. It uh, looks like it's well made, got good fittings on it and everything. It comes with some nice looking fittings. Um, they look like they're well made. Good quality stuff. In the package, you're going to get a uh, an adapter to hook to directly to your power washer if you want. Uh, here's your quick connect. It goes with the standard power washer fittings. Uh, you'll get this jetter nozzle. This one, the the brass part rotates, and then you'll get this one. They're just it's stationary but both of these have the little small jet holes in the back and so if they're working properly they will uh, pull themselves down the sewer line but you'll also get this little package not much there but it's Teflon tape and it's more than enough to make the connections and everything because like I said uh, or this is my second one the hose has two different types of fittings this one as you can see swivels and that is the one that I would put the uh, rotating nozzle, the little brass fitting on. And then the other one is fixed. It will not rotate. But both of them are quarter inch fittings. So any standard uh, pressure washer uh, will interchange with it. It comes bound with a standard strapping tape. Be careful. Don't be cutting over in here. Anywhere, just use your some side cutters or other form and cut that loose. Uh, again, it uh, this is the end that I would put the uh, rotating nozzle on uh, because it's going to rotate. Of course, now the little brass collar turns, but just to make it a little more forgiving, I like to put it on the end that uh, where the end also rotates. Just take a little stress off the hose. Now this hose is 100 feet long. Uh, my sewer main is 75 feet long and I wanted to be able to go the full length with no splices or anything. Okay, now I've got this end ready to put the fitting on. And I, I put the Teflon tape on it and I like to use three to four, no less than three, but four rounds or wraps on it is fine. And make sure you get these fittings good and tight because there's a lot of pulsing and vibration going on when these are running. And the last thing you want is for it to come loose and uh, shoot off into your sewer main, lose your tip, or in my case, shoot it off into the septic tank. And I put uh, four wraps on each one of my fittings and you can see there's a little Teflon tape left over. So put that in your toolbox and save it for later. And I've got these fittings good and tight. And one of the reasons I chose the 100 foot length is because I don't want any splices or connections in the sewer line that might get hung when I'm trying to retrieve it. And my only quick connect is going to be to the gun that's not in the sewer line. Um, I would not recommend using quick connects that are going down the line because Anybody that's used Quick Connects knows that uh, the Quick Connect collar slides back and releases. So as the jetter is pulling itself forward, you sure don't want it to uh, slide that collar back and uh, shoot the tip off. So one of the things that I noticed when I unpacked it is you've got some places like this where you can tell that it was packaged maybe a little too tight. So hopefully those won't blow out like the first one did. You know, I showed a picture of the box that uh, said that the hose is rated at 5,000 PSI. So I'm running it off of my little Troy built 
and as you can see it'll only generate 2000 so there's really no good reason for a brand new hose to blow out like that all right i've got it unrolled i unrolled it and got it straight because i don't want any kinks or cramps or anything that could cause problems and possibly cause a blowout so anyway all looks good so we'll get ready and put it into the sewer main and see what happens okay the pump's running and i got my pistol grip this just laid out on the ground let's see what happens get all the air out of it yeah. so far so good I can feel the vibration on the line so we'll put it in the line and try it got the business end of this thing in the drain line got my pistol grip ready so there we go And I can feed it a little bit, I think. I've got the rotating tip in there, and this is what it sounds like. After a very disappointing first run, this one seems to work a lot better. I've got it back out. I was going to pressurize it and see if I've got any stray leaks that developed when it was down in the sewer. Over there. Over there. So, looks good. My family and everybody that knows me knows that I'm a maintenance freak. Uh, every time I use my power washer, I make sure that I flush out the water out of the pump using this stuff. It's an easy process. It's got a little connector on it that hooks up to where the garden hose goes in and just spray it through until all the water's gone. Connect it to the garden hose fitting, pop the little safety cap, and just get out of the way here because it's kind of a mess. So don't do this in your house or in your shop or anything like that. It's just a quick squirt. There's the water. And there's the pump saver. Easy breezy. So overall, I would have to say that I'm happy with the uh, Sioux Prince, even though I guess they're ashamed of themselves because they won't put their name on the box. But uh, anyway, I'm satisfied with it. It's uh, considerably cheaper than calling a plumber. So I guess that's the overall deal, even if it only works one time. I got this on a discount from Amazon for uh, $30. And normally they're like $60. So anyway. Not bad for uh, sewer cleaning.